Hey, seniors, class of 2021, we are so glad that you are checking in with us and starting the process to continue your education. I am Chris O'Connor. I am the Senior Internship Coordinator for the district. I'm Eve Romero. I'm the counselor at Century High School. Hello, I'm Linda Oley. I'm the counselor at Los Lunas High School. Hello, everyone. I'm Rhonda Flores, and I'm a counselor at Los Lunas High School. Hello, I'm Rosalind Montgomery. I'm a counselor at Valencia High School. And I'm Hello, Rachel Ogin <laughs> at Valencia High School. Sorry about that. I'm Rita Garcia. I'm with UNM Valencia. All right, we are going to go through the process and show you how to. Again, we have Las Lunas High School, we have Century High School, we have Valencia High School. We are all here for you to support you as seniors to get you in your next step in life. Where do you need to begin to start to get that money? It's the FAFSA. What we will answer is what is FAFSA? Who can get it? How much money can you get? How do you apply? What happens next? And where can you get more information? All right. So seniors, please remember, education isn't cheap. Here's how to get help paying for it. Everyone needs to start with a FAFSA application. That stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. So what is financial aid? Financial aid is money to pay for college or a career school. That includes grants, which are based on need, and these are the best ones because you do not have to pay them back. You can also apply for work study, and that is a part-time job, work as you go to school, and earn some money. Loans, these are the types of aid that you do have to pay back. And finally, scholarships, merit-based money, that you do not have to pay back. And please remember, the various types of aid can be found at this website, studentaid.gov slash types. Okay, to get started, you will need to create an FSA ID and your parent will also create an FSA ID. Uh, to learn more about how to create an FSA ID, you'll visit this website, studentaid.gov backslash FSA ID. Um, there you will create a unique username and your parent will create a unique username. Um, you can't share one, you'll have to make your own. You will also have to use unique email addresses when creating these um, accounts. Uh, you cannot share an email address either. Also, never share your FSA ID. It is yours and yours alone. And um, you, you'll need to remember that information for the next time you fill out FAFSA next year. Okay, so this is the first page of the website and you will get started where that arrow is pointing and this is how we get the process started. Okay, so now that you have your FSA ID and your parent has their FSA ID, you do press start. And please go to where you log in as the student. So I am the student. This will make everything more streamlined for you. And no problems will be coming from this way to do it. Um, make sure you log in as a student first. So before you start any big process like this, it's always great to gather documents that you need. There's a picture infographic. If you click on this link, that'll help you get all the things you need. An example is you're going to need your parents W-2 forms from the 2019. So 2019 taxes, social security card, different documents. So if you need help figuring that out, you can click on the infographic and see that or um, ask a counselor, ask somebody for help. Okay, how do I apply for federal student aid? Um, so step number three is you need to go to that website we were talking about, fafsa.gov. The window for applying for um, student aid is going to open up on October 1st. Um, so it's important to get on um, onto that website and gather your documents so that you can meet all those deadlines. State deadlines are listed at that website. 
School deadlines are listed at the school's websites. Use your student FSA ID to start the application. It saves time and confusion. If you need help, um, use the help functions within the FS FAFSA form, including live chat. And there's an 800 number there listed that um, you can use um, in real time. Don't forget, watch for the confirmation page that says your FAFSA has been, has been um, submitted and then completely log out. Okay, um, number four, watch for response by email or by regular mail, confirming that your FAFSA form had been processed. Double check that your info was correct by logging in at the FAFSA site and reviewing your data. Correct any mistakes and submit the corrected info. Don't update info that was, corrected, that was correct on the day you signed your FAFSA form. Check with the school you applied to and make sure that everything is set up and good to go. Um, okay, then how do you apply for more scholarships and state aid? As we mentioned before, scholarships are not money that you have to pay back, but you do have to qualify for it, okay? So state aid, there are things that are, um, such as opportunity scholarship, tribal scholarships, um, teacher prep, and of course the New Mexico Lottery Scholarship. School aid, contact financial aid offices at schools that you are considering. Um, this would be the colleges that you're, you're considering going to, um, and look for campus-wide scholars, campus-wide college scholarships. Um, check the school Canvas counseling pages and search for um, and visit individual scholarship websites for more information. And talk about a scholarship. Here is one that will be offered if you do your FAFSA. So there is a $500 scholarship available through the New Mexico Educational Assistance Foundation. And you just log on to their website there and you could be in a drawing to win a chance to win a $500 scholarship. It does open up October 1st. There are some changes this year to that scholarship. Uh, we will have our $500 scholarship awarded to those who have completed the FAFSA. This year though, they are awarding a scholarship once a month instead of just one scholarship. So that means the sooner you complete the FAFSA, the more chances you have to win. So go ahead and make sure that you do that, students, so that you are eligible to win a $500 scholarship. Another thing that the New Mexico Educational Assistance Foundation is doing is a TikTok challenge. So look for that on their website if you want to win a $100 gift card. And to learn more about federal financial aid programs and free scholarships and, colleges and college searches, you can go to studentaid.gov. And for help filling out and completing your FAFSA form, you can dial 1-800-4-FED-AID or virtually through studentaid at ed.gov. You can also check for additional scholarship information at nmeaf.org, as well as your local school and district websites. So for students, for additional support to complete your FAFSA form, Century High School students, contact Ms. Romero at eromero at llschools.net. Those at Los Lunas High School, contact Ms. Oli at loli at llschools.net or Ms. Flores at rpflores at llschools.net. And for those at Valencia High School, contact Ms. Montgomery at rmontgomery at llschools.net, myself at dlolguin at llschools.net, or UNM Valencia, Ms. Rita Garcia at rgarcia18 at unm.edu. You may also have to book an appointment if you want to give UNM Valencia a call. So seniors, thank you again for checking in with us. We wish you all the best for your senior year and let us know how we can help you get to the next step to go off and continue your education. Yay, seniors. Bye guys.